In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a music search on your Sharp Tools dashboard using the new Sharp Tools variables. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, check out the video description for the three simple steps to build the ultimate smart home. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up a music search. So we have our dashboard here and I have a our album art and I have my controls for my Echo office right here. Now to get this working, you need to have the Echo Speaks installed on your SmartThings and import those devices into your Sharp Tools so you can use them on your dashboards and in your rule engine. So if you don't have that set up, I will leave a link on how to get the Echo Speaks set up. We're gonna put a search box right here where we can tap on it and then we'll be able to type in whatever we want to listen to. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to go over to our rules engine and we're going to click on the manage variables at the top of the screen here. And then we're just going to create a variable and let's just call this music search. So it's going to give you a suggestion. Just click on the suggestion and then it will change it right here to be correct. And the type of the variable we're going to be using is a text variable. And just leave the value blank because we are going to be defining the value of the music search on our dashboard, which will then fill it into a rule and execute the command. So go ahead and click on create. And now you can see we have our music search variable set up. All right, so now once we have our variable set up, we can go ahead and create a rule. So we just need to go to the bottom of our rules and click on create rule. And we'll just go ahead and name our rule. So I just named it music office search and I put a space in front so it would show at the top of our list. Search Amazon music on office echo. So the first thing we need to do is choose our trigger. So we're going to tap on the plus sign here and we're going to choose an event trigger and we're going to choose a variable. So we're going to choose the variable that we just set up, which is the music search. And then we're going to choose changes and is not, and then just leave this blank. So I'm just not going to save this just so you can follow along. And I'm going to go down to the next step. So the next step is our flow. So we're going to have two actions in our flow. The first will be to actually search for the music. And the second will be to clear out our variable. So we're going to go ahead and click on the plus sign here. We're going to choose an action. We're going to choose a device and we're going to choose our echo device. So I'm going to choose our echo office and we're going to choose search Amazon music. If you're using another music service, you can choose any of these here and it will work the same. So we're going to search Amazon music. And then right down here, you have three different arguments to fill in. What we're going to be doing is just using the text right here. So we're going to tap on advanced at the top. And now we have the option on the right hand side to delete. So we're going to delete the first one and we're going to delete the second one. And now what we need to do is input the value for the search. So here is where we're going to be using our variable. So the variable can be anything. And that's what makes a variable so powerful is it's one thing in sharp tools, but it can be a million different things depending on what you input. So we're going to tap on this little gray circle over here on the right. And we're going to choose music search. Now we're going to do one more action. We're just going to hit the plus sign here. Action set variable this time. We're going to choose our variable, which is our music search. And we're going to select our source as a static value. And then we're just going to leave this blank. All right. So now let's go ahead and save all of these. Our search and then clearing out the value here. So what this is going to do is if the 
if the variable is not blank, then it will do the rest of these actions here. So anytime you put in text into the variable, it will run this rule. So it will run down here and it'll say, okay, echo office, we're going to search Amazon music for whatever we typed in to the variable. And then at the end, what it's going to do is it's going to set the variable to be blank. So it's going to clear it out. That way it will be cleared out and it will be ready for the next trigger. So we're going to go ahead down here and click on save. And now we have our rule at the top right here. So now we can go over to our dashboard. So this is the dashboard that I've already set up with the album art and the controls here. And we just need to go to the bottom, click on the gray little dots here and click on edit. Now we'll get three circles here and we want to click on the plus sign to add an item. And we're going to be adding a variable. Do not add your rule because it will not work because you need to enter something into the variable to actually run that rule. So click on variables and we're going to choose music search. All right. And you can see it added over here. Just tap off and it will get you out of there. And we're just going to put it down here and we're going to change the label the dimension, and then we're going to just choose a height of two and a width of four. And the um, action on tap has to be show value prompt. So we're going to go ahead and click save there. And now you can see it's added a box and this is our office music search. And we just need to click on the save button here. All right, so now we have our everything set up. We have our album art, we have our controls here, and we also have a search. And I have the Echo device right next to me here. So if I hit um, the play button here, it's going to start to play. Come down here and I tap on the office search music. Now it's going to pop up with a box. And what we need to do is just type in something here. So I'm going to type in relaxing piano. All right, so we have relaxing piano. And all you have to do is click on save. And then what that will do is it will put that into this box. The playlist solo classical piano on Amazon Music. And now it's playing solo piano music. So you can see what we originally typed in here. It showed up of the text that we typed after it searched for it. Then it cleared this out. Let's go ahead and change this to be something else. So if we come in here, tap on that, tap here, and now we're gonna search for top pop. So we click on save, puts it in here. Station, top pop on Amazon Music. All right, and then you can see that is now playing top pop. So as you can see, this is a very useful feature. You know, sometimes when you send voice commands, when there's music playing, you gotta ask several times, or you could just walk over Tap on this, type in whatever you want, click on save, and then it's going to automatically switch to that on your Echo device. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also check out the other videos on the screen right now, and I will see you in the next video.